As we start to answer the Lord as we sing this loud and clear. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah.
Is that the ladders you can say? It's Your voice is not loud enough. The voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. You shall not be swallowed in the name of Jesus. You shall not be swallowed in the name of Jesus. You shall not be swallowed in the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Ni oruko Jesus la badura. Lay your right hand upon your own head now. Egbi owo ti e le ori ara yin nisin. And say this loud and clear. Yes, we e le lohun to jagara. By the cry of Calvary. Ni ma ipe to ti Calvary wa. I destroy my destroyers. Mo pa wa pa ni romi ru. Can I hear the sisters shouting it? Ejen bo ka wara bi ni ko ki gbere. Sisters, I want you to shout this louder than Brothers, can I hear you yeah, roaring yeah, like thunder? Yeah. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus la badura. Father, we thank you for this time. Baba dupele wa infua koko ba yi. Lay your hands upon us here. Eda wa yin le wa nini? Open our understanding. Esi o ni wa. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus la badura. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Eje kajo kolo wa yo bu kufua. The principles. Of spiritual military intelligence, I want a lano, a shock one no, see a more look to me. The principles of spiritual military intelligence, see a boy no, I want a look to me in some one one nine. New Rinda for the Cocondi, New York Goffa, was ninety nine. The principles of spiritual military intelligence. I want to know what we know to open Jija, and it's good to listen very carefully. Osi da ke afetisle da da. Psalm one one nine. Orinda fi de koko di ni ogofa. Verse nineteen. Ese koko di ni ogoru. If you are there, say yes. They're about to see. Can we be in? If not, we shall wait for you. Because I should be out there. Said Rodin. Some one one nine. 
Are we there now? Listen to what the psalmist says. I have more understanding than all my teachers. Can you read that, Lord? Let me hear you. Louder. Louder still. For thy testimonies are my meditation. Verse 100. I understand more than the ancients. Why? Because I keep thy precepts. Can you read those two verses together now from the next slide to 100? Let's go. Can you read that one more time? Why did he have more understanding than all his teachers? He did it. He did it. He because his testimonies the, God's testimonies are his word meditation why did he understand more than the ancients because God's word I keep that precept listen very carefully especially in these times that you are in what is military intelligence military intelligence before we now begin to spiritualize it what is military intelligence military intelligence is the business of knowing number one who the enemy is who the enemy is it is a tragedy when you are fighting an enemy you do not know it's a tragedy when the enemy is masquerading before you and you do not know that the enemy is wearing a masquerade it's a tragedy when you are doing misfired aggression by fighting the wrong enemy it's a tragedy when the enemy is able to divert you to the wrong enemy. So the first principle in military intelligence is that you must know who the enemy is. Two. Spiritual military intelligence is also the business of learning how the enemy operates. How do they operate? This operation. This is why Jesus can say this kind of demon you are trying to cast out. You cannot go out except by fasting and prayer. So Jesus knew how they operated. Jesus said if an unclean spirit leaves a man he goes into the wilderness into dry places and finding no rest he comes back. He says, finding no rest. He comes back. The Bible says, don't be ignorant of the devices of the wicked. To understand how they operate. If you don't know how they operate, you may be praising God for what they have even done. Three. It is the business of learning what the objectives of the enemy are. 
Why are they attacking you? What is the problem here? What is it about you that is generating interest among them? Is it because of your colorful destiny? Is it because they see you as a dangerous person for Jesus? Is it because you have made a mistake? What are they? What do they really want to achieve? Do they really want to kill the person? Or they just want to make the person useless? What are the objectives of the enemy? I decree as every objective of darkness for your life shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Number four, military intelligence is the business of knowing how the enemy is planning to accomplish those objectives. How is he planning? to accomplish these objectives. These are the four basic principles of military intelligence. In spiritual military intelligence now, we do have a spy. A spy. That spy has been made available to us provided we decide to become friends with that spy. The spy. That spy is the Holy Spirit. The spy is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, beloved, is the greatest the greatest spy. Remember that when they came to look for Elisha, his offense was anything the enemy was planning. He will have known it and he will brief the king. This is where they are hiding. This is where they are staying. Go here. Pray like this. This is where they are. So we all of us need to become close and become partners with the Holy Spirit. We have to be in communion with the Holy Spirit. It's a tragedy to be coming to Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry and you have not received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You have come for one year, two years, three years. It's a tragedy. You need to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. When you receive him with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you need to pray for spiritual gifts to come upon your life. Look at what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 5. John chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 16. It says this. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus. They sought to slay him. Because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them. My father walked. He and I walk. My father walked. Baba I walk. There is no sabbatical. There is no sick leave. There is no holiday. In the warfare before us. For that enemy is restless. But the Holy Spirit is his power that tells us where they are. Listen to these hard facts. Listen very, very carefully. Our welfare, our destiny, our life, 
is affected by evil princes of this unseen world. Our welfare, our destiny, our life is affected by mighty powers of darkness. Paul said we wrestle. Paul wrestle match. He wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual weakness kindness in high place our welfare whether we like it or not is affected by those powers our welfare our destiny our progress is affected by evil spirits who rule this world the bible says bibeli wipe the dark places of the earth is full of the habitation of cruelty it is cruelty the practice the dark places of the earth is full of the habitation of cruelty they are cruelty I want to our welfare our progress our destiny is affected by spirits of wickedness in the heavens above us please try and understand what I'm saying now understand what I'm really saying now very very clear to you there is an invisible society of spirits behind all visible occurrences in the physical world. Can I say that again? There is an invisible society of spirits behind all visible occurrences in the physical world. Nothing happens by chance. There is an invisible society of spirits behind them. If you say, if you say somebody is a minister of education, there is another minister of education that the enemy has appointed that is in that, in that position. If you say somebody is a governor, there is a spiritual governor that Satan has appointed. Government is certainly not you. There is like that. Every geographical location has its own characteristic demons controlling it. I'm praying for everyone here this morning that every decision of darkness against your life shall fail. It 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 shall fail. Shout, it shall fail seven times. It shall fail. Certain invisible cosmic beings exist below God but above us that have the power to disrupt even the will of God for your life if you are not careful. They have the power to perpetrate evil against the will of God and wreak havoc. If you are not careful, they kill unless we persistently and forcefully oppose them. Therefore, spiritual warfare is unavoidable. Unfortunately, 
the history of failure in warfare can be summarized in two words the history of failure in warfare can be summarized in two words and those two words are too late too late in preparation too late in recognizing the potential danger of the enemies too late in mobilizing forces to attack back too, too, too late and that is a serious problem this is why in the military discipline is the first priority discipline is the first priority same way if you are going to win in the spiritual warfare discipline is not negotiable you have to be disciplined you have to obey instructions. 100%. Pata pata. You have to follow through that discipline. La ese kokoro are ni dan. You move from where you are. Oh le kuro ni bi to wa. Here you are. Ni bi te wa yi. You want to drink alcohol. E fe moti. You can grow. Oh le dagba. You want to watch monograph. O fe wo won to wa lawo ni hoho. You can grow. Oh le dagba. You want to do fornication. O fe wo wa pa saga. You can grow. Oh le dagba. You want to be telling lies. O fe ma paro. You can grow. Oh le dagba. You want to gossip. O fe ma sheke. You can grow. Oh le dagba. And then if you are like that. So ba wa je ru eyan ba e lo je. You are not growing. Oh si dagba. You are not disciplined. Oh ko ra if wastage is supposed to happen and you are inside so, so, and heaven will not bother to protect you because when you were around you were useless to heaven anyway this is a problem I want you to understand these principles very well there are 10 main characteristics of spiritual intelligence Ten main characteristics of spiritual intelligence. I want to run through them now. When we say spiritual intelligence, what are we talking about here? Number one, we mean having good understanding. Two, we mean having high mental capacity three we mean quick to understand spiritual things once it happens you are quick to understand it four we mean being well informed well informed five we mean sound thinking you are thinking soundly six is having good reasoning faculty good reasoning faculty seven having good judgment eight having sharp Discernment. You can discern. You can know when you are looking at an enemy. You can know when you are looking at a friend. Now, being close to the Holy Spirit. Close to the Holy Spirit. So that Holy Spirit becomes your senior partner. Ten. Means having capacity to grasp the truth. Capacity to grasp the truth. Those are the ten main characteristics of spiritual intelligence. Meaning that, meaning that you could be academically intelligent but spiritually dull. Meaning that you could be financially intelligent but be a spiritual dunce. And I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. I'm going to and I want you to understand this very well. If you are here today, 
you are a spiritual dunce when you are lying to yourself you are a spiritual dunce when you are lying to yourself you are a spiritual dunce when you are doing the same thing doing the same thing and you expect a different thing to happen you are a spiritual dunce if you are living in any known sin because all sinners are waging war against God you are a spiritual dunce if you are forgetting your quiet time you are a spiritual dance. When you never read your Bible deeply. You are a spiritual dance. When you are forgetting divine dreams. You are a spiritual dance. When you have no dreams at all. You are a spiritual dance. When your dream life is just nightmares. You are a spiritual dunce when you receive no vision, no revelation, no voice from heaven. You are a spiritual dunce when you think you can hide from God. You are a spiritual dunce if you are in any form of addiction. You are a spiritual dunce if you do not sometimes sit down to count your blessings. You are always counting your sorrows and your misfortunes. You are a spiritual dance. When you do not want to acquire spiritual knowledge. And you are contented at remaining in ignorance. You are a spiritual dance. When you are living in any kind of unholy life. You are a spiritual dance. But for those who are spiritually intelligent, you must know your God. That's the first point. Spiritual intelligence. You must know your God. Two, you must know yourself. You must know your God. You must know yourself. Three. You must know your enemy. Four. You must know your destiny. Five. You must understand the times and the seasons. The time and the season you are. You must understand it. And like the teachers in primary school in those days. Tick says the clock. Tick, tick. What do you have to do? Do quick. She la koko. The clock is not an enemy of any. It's not a friend or enemy of anybody. It's just walking. Kishi ota tabi ore nikeni. Just walking. Omo konsi she ti ready. You don't follow. You don't follow. To ba wako tele. To ba wako ma tele. So one, you must know your God. Ori on betin la ti mo lo ruin. Two, you must know yourself. Ikeji la ti mo ente in she. Three, you must know your enemy. Ikeji la ti mo ota in. Four, you must know your destiny. Ikeji la ti mo ti a yon mo in je. Five, you must understand the times and seasons. Ikeji la ti mo ti a koko la ti ye in. Six. You must be a lover of prayer and the word of God. You must be a lover of prayer and the word of God. And seven, you must learn the ministry of conflict. The ministry of conflict. Which is spiritual warfare. Any Christianity that somebody brings to the black man and does not inform that black man how to fight his own spiritual war is a waste of time. And this is a very serious matter. 
And this is why sometimes we laugh. When we see young Christians saying there is no need to pray. There was even a Nigerian preacher on television. He opened his mouth and said there is nothing like prayer warrior. This is what he is teaching young people that there is nothing like prayer warrior. These young people will continue to listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. When they become 30, 31, 32, they now begin to experience life. Then they sit up. Salvation is not an exemption from the battle of life. Salvation gives you the weapon to fight that battle. Bow down your heads now. Bow down your heads. In case you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Whatever you are, why all eyes are closed? Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, come before you now, Lord Jesus. Come into my life, take control of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now, Father. I thank you for your children here. I've surrendered their lives to Jesus today. Keep them standing by your power, lay your hands upon their lives in Jesus' name. Same. The power, sir. Hey, yeah, producing insults against me. Don't say that I will see, Lord, you see me. Enough is enough. Oh, okay. In the name of Jesus, sir. Yes. Benny. Just bear me. In Jesus' name we pray. Nio Ruko Jesu La Badura. Get yourself ready now. Etumura sle by as you pray this second prayer be out in bad, rakeji, if you are the person in this meeting, to be ready not on bedroom pade ye. You had a dream. A la la. A personality came to you and told you point black in that dream. That the problem of your mother, the death that killed that your mother, the problems of that mother will happen to you. You had a dream, a personality came to threaten you like that. Please find your way quickly to the altar. While everybody, including yourself, pray this prayer with holy madness. Wicked past! Speaking against me, don't sorrow, Lord, receive me. Receive angelic slap. Can I hear you shouting this? Your voice is not loud enough. In the name. Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. For war against my destiny. Don't forget when on you to react. In the name of Jesus, powers calling for war against my destiny. Command them to die now in the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray the powers using their quiet time to curse me Pray this prayer very well. Powers! Using their quiet time to curse me. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus name we pray say wicked elders selling me for profit in the spirit realm can you say it loud wicked elders selling me for profit in the spirit realm I bury you now in the name of Jesus Ah, ah, ben. In Jesus' name we pray. Every ancestral court of judgment. Built against me. Cut fire. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the ancestral court of judgment. Somebody is having a breakthrough over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Storms of the wicked. Blocking my way. Scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer lets your voice be the loudest. Say, every rain of darkness. Multiplying evil seeds against me. Can I hear you shouting that? Aha. Back Tapada. Deal with the rain of darkness. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus' name we pray. Cover judgment against my life. Jesus. Kill the covering judgment. In Jesus' name we pray. Every prison door. Fashion against my destiny. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Break the prison down. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I fire back every arrow of confusion in the name of Jesus. Yes, Benny. Yes, Benny. Yes. Benny, yes, Benny, yes, Benny, yes, Benny, yes, Benny. In Jesus.
Jesus, then we pray. Ni oruko Jesus la gbadura. The next three prayers. Awon adura meta tokan yi. Please, mo be yin. I'm begging you. Mo ro yin. Pray like a man or woman from another world. E gbadura bi okun tabi obirin to wa lati aye mi ro. Specific angels are here just for this three prayers. Ni tori pe awon angel e kan wa ni ni tori awon adura. Powers! Assigned to steal my star. Toyo, Lati G. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Nioruko Jesus. Powers assigned to steal my star. I want Baratoyo, Lati G. Rawomi. Die by fire. A cool if I know. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, and line you cool. Jesus' name we pray. This is the second one. one. Say, Paul! And you are better. Say, my problems will not be over. Tony, sorrow, me only talk me. Can you say it with only anger? I saw my Louis Pinumimo. Before I leave this place, what are the people there? In the name of Jesus. Me or Yes, Benny. Yes, Benny. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pass. Hey, Yabara, attacking my testimonies. Don't go to the ring. Can you say it loud? You are okay. Your time is up. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Neo Ruko Jesu, Lagbadura. Yok! Ajaga! Of slow motion. See, we was saying, Yok! Ajaga! Of standstill. See, that was what you call. Can you shout those two things loud and clear? Keep it, come back, you know, Lara. Shout it louder. I bone, so okay, keep it. Let your voice be louder. Go on, right now. So can you buy it? Assign against me. In the name of Jesus. Open the mouth. Open the mouth. Don't negotiate. Am I do not do that? Three prayer requests before the Lord. And what we go quite be met. That you want the Lord to do for you before coming Sunday. The first color we go share for you. Ki ojo Sunday tombo. Bring the three prayer requests before the Lord. Be adura meta e muto luawa. Thank you, Jesus. E she un Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
It is done in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this day. We we'll give you praise, we we'll give you honor and adoration. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Every prayer we have prayed here today, let them become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you some Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. All the prayer requests, all answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.